I think another example is in order. So let's see these five steps again. So part B is to solve uh, x squared dy over dx plus xy is equal to x plus 1. So remember, let's first of all rearrange this and let's find out and let's investigate rather what type of differential equation we have. So if we can rearrange this in the form dy over dx plus pxy equals q of x, we have a first order linear differential equation. Okay. So over here, I'm going to divide throughout by x squared. So if I divide throughout by x squared, we're going to have dy by dx plus xy divided by x squared. And that is equal to x over x squared plus 1 over x squared. OK, so you need to divide throughout by x squared. OK. So I can make some cancellations, okay, and I can also cancel this term over here to give me dy over dx plus y over x, and that is equal to 1 over x plus 1 over x squared, okay? So as you can see over here, this equation is a first order linear differential equation okay because this equation is of the form dy over dx plus pxy equals q of x so we have a first order linear differential equation okay so remember step one so if you go to the screenshot so in step number one we need to write our differential equation in standard form and if we go back to the paper in pen our equation over here is in standard form so we've completed step number one and I'm going to call this standard form equation star as I did in the previous example okay this takes us to step number two so let's go to the screenshot quickly and in step number two remember calculate your integrating factor so back to the paper in pen so integrating factor so integrating factor abbreviated by the letters if remember the formula it's e to the power integration px with respect to x and remember px is the coefficient of y in your standard form equation star okay so the term in front of y is 1 over x so 1 over x is our px term so if I replace px by 1 over x, let's calculate this integrating factor that we have. So it's e to the integration of px, which is 1 over x, with respect to x. So if you integrate 1 over x, we have ln. So we have ln x, that's a standard integral. Okay. And remember, if you have ln as part of your power, of e go one stage further. So remember the results e to the ln a equals a and that implies over here e to the ln x is x. Okay so that takes us to the next stage step three. So if we go back to the screenshot step number three multiply the equation in standard form i.e. star by if okay so if we go back to the paper and pen here is our equation star in standard form let's multiply by if which is x so multiply star by if so let's multiply throughout by the integrating factor so our integrating factor is x so x times dy over dx is x dy over dx plus y over x times x is y 
and that is equal to 1 over x times x is 1 plus 1 over x squared times the integrating factor x is 1 over x. Okay, so that completes step number three. Okay, so let's go back to the screenshot and remember step number four. In step number four, we can rewrite the left hand side of this equation in step three um, using d by dx of ify. Okay, so back to the paper in pen. So in step number four, we're going to rewrite the entire left hand term of step number three, okay, as d by dx of the integrating factor times y, okay? So you, you always do this when it comes to starting step number four, okay? So in step number four, we have d by dx, integrating factor if is x times y, and that is equal to, on the right hand side, we have one plus one over x. So next step, and the last step is step number five. So if we go back to the screenshot, remember step number five, integrate both sides. And remember when you integrate the left hand term, so in particular, if you integrate d by dx of a term with respect to x, you're gonna get the integrating factor times y as a result, okay? So back to the paper in pen, if we integrate both sides, okay? So in this case, when we integrate d by dx of x, y with respect to x, we're just gonna have x, y as a result, and that is equal to the integration of the right-hand term, which is one plus one over x with respect to x, okay? Let's continue. So we have x, y on the left. That is equal to, when I integrate one, it's x, plus when I integrate one over x, that's a standard result, it's ln x and add c, okay? So this is our general solution, remember, to the first order linear differential equation that we had in part b, okay? So that completes this example here.